Hey guys, YouTube, land. Sammy from another series, Brewing Company. Happy Homebrew Wednesday slash Friday. I'm going to put this on the uh, my next home, my next week's Homebrew Wednesday video. Thought I'd give you guys an update on the messy trousers. This was my uh, Irish Stout and my trusty Muskoka Brewery, Muskoka Cottage Brewery glass. Uh, I'm not sure you guys in Canada have heard of them. Uh, Ontario for sure, the LCBO. Make a really great IPA called Mad Tom. They also have a twice as Mad Tom at about 8%. Sold in a four pack. It's, it's really good. Really tasty. Warms the tummy and the esophagus as it goes down. Things get all happy, happy. Uh, they got a nice seasonal out, seasonal out now. Uh, called the Spring Oddity. Haven't picked up this year's yet. Tried it last year. Really good. Some neat uh, juniper berries and some coriander flavor in there. Uh, something like a spiced wheat ale. Really, 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 really good. That's what we're here to talk about, though. This is my uh, quick little update on the Messy Trousers uh, Irish Stout. So I'm going to call it Messy Trousers because I was really hoping with the addition of the uh, malted barley uh, that would kind of make you go... Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Mess my trousers. You know that face? You know that oh, oh, oh that oh face? That oh, oh face. Like I asked my wife, honey, you want to hop on a train to O-Town? She always replies, uh, you know, she never bought a ticket, but it doesn't really matter. Anywho, um, let's give her a go. When I pulled her off the keg, um, she had a solid one finger head. It's nice, thick, and creamy. Um, it's tasty. Got some good chocolate and some good um, good coffee undertones there. And a uh, good bitter finish, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's it's really good. I'm really happy with that beer. It uh, that was um, a Cooper's Brewmaster Select Irish Stout Kit, uh, 300 grams of dextrose, um, one kilogram of Brew Enhancer One, and then the uh, it was called Eden Vale uh, Malted Barley. I'll find a picture of it and put it on uh, down below here, or up here, or there, or maybe even right here, so you guys can try it. But eight ninety nine for five hundred sixty six grams, but it gives a really good bitter, not overly bitter, but a nice bitter finish to to the stout. You know, and adds a little bit of body to it without adding all that dextrose and dumping a whole pile of fucking full fermentables in there that don't add a lot of flavor and just add alcohol to it. Which is you want to do that? That's fine. That's cool. Good for you. I mean. Uh, I prefer a beer with a, well, honestly, with both. I mean, who doesn't? But uh, that being said, I prefer a full-bodied beer better than a, you know, a beer that's just, you know, straight alcohol. But you know, I got a 10.7% apple cider just sitting in there conditioning on bottles right now. So really, fuck. What can I tell you? It's the same. Sometimes you're in the mood for it. Sometimes you're not. Would this be a session ale? No. Um, I like it far too much to. Oh, you know, fuck, who's kidding who? I, anything that I make seems to be a session now lately. It, uh, this is my third one, so I'm not going to lie to you. This isn't the first time I tried it, so it's it's tasty. Um, anybody need the details on the recipe, send me a note. Um, I'll go through it with you. Dead easy. It's Cooper's kit. You know, I haven't had not made a bad one yet. Um, yeah, good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think I just messed my trousers. It's, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to do some laundry. It's it's good. It kind of reminds me of that whole point the toes moment. You know that, you know, guys, yeah, I already went into that. Anyway, I won't go into it again. Cheers and uh, all the best from uh, Under the Stairs Brewing Company. Take care, guys.